but increasingly the role of the IP4 in these important gatherings. And the fact that Korea is here, we are reaffirming all elements of our security partnership, engaging among uh, nations about common challenges like cybersecurity, um, misinformation. Uh, others inside the Korean government, opposition parties. We think those elements and those efforts are important and we support that. So I, I don't think I could comment really directly on what uh, South Korea should do going forward, only to say that we've been very pleased and encouraged uh, and grateful for what South Korea has done today. hard to do anything related to predicting the future. I do want to underscore that there are a few uh, elements that I think our friends and allies in the Indo-Pacific should focus on. The first is that there is a substantial bipartisan agreement about enhanced engagements uh, in the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, and, and I think we've seen that across every endeavor that we've been involved in, number one. Number two, I think the efforts of the UN administration in particular to support deeper engagement with the United States are very much appreciated uh, and I think are recognized across the political spectrum in the United States. Three, the areas of increased engagement, defense, technology, I believe we have every reason to think will continue under whatever political circumstances going forward. So myself, I'm quite optimistic that there is a substantial bipartisan dynamic that leads to forward momentum that should be reassuring to our allies, partners, and friends in the Indo-Pacific region. The ultimate uh, judgment of how extensive and fundamental uh, this uh, new relationship with uh, Russia and North Korea is, um, we will only know in time. However, from the highly visible nature of the visit, what North Korea has already done in terms of supporting Russia's defense industrial base and providing uh, artillery, long-range missiles, and other engagements that run the other direction, Russia's support for North Korea. There's already enough there to concern us, and I think we've been um, working closely with South Korean partners to together evaluate every element of uh, what has taken place between Moscow and Pyongyang. We are both concerned and uh, vigilant, and we're determined to meet any challenge with a very uh, robust response, and uh, we are coordinating not only at the bilateral level, but trilaterally and increasingly with other countries in the Indo-Pacific. I expect that will continue going forward. Ultimately, this is uh, an unwelcome development uh, and uh, one that the United States has to take carefully into consideration. That my counterparts in the South Korean government support fully the effort that we've undertaken with respect to reaffirming and strengthening uh, American extended deterrence, particularly in the context of the Korean uh, Peninsula, and I'm quite confident that uh, those efforts will continue. 
Um, one of the reasons that we're so grateful that President Yoon is here for the celebration of the 75th anniversary uh, of NATO is not only about the past, what has been accomplished on the uh, European continent and the linkages on the transatlantic front with the United States in particular, but increasingly the role of the IP4 in these important gatherings and the fact that Korea is here. We are reaffirming all elements of our security partnership, engaging among uh, nations about common challenges like cybersecurity, um, misinformation. Uh, I believe that uh, in our discussions over the course of the next few days with a range of Korean interlocutors who are visiting here in Washington, we'll take every opportunity to reaffirm every element of our bilateral relationship, including uh, with respect to uh, the Washington De uh, Declaration and our joint efforts at uh, strengthening, underscoring our extended deterrence commitment. demonstrate clearly and unmistakably our resolve in this arena and we're going to continue to do that. We are absolutely committed to our extended deterrence guarantees to the Republic of Korea. Uh, we uh, reaffirm it every chance we can and we recognize the importance that the initiatives that we undertake are seen as resolute, adaptive, and determined. lot of expertise. She did a uh, remarkable job here at the State Department, but we have many other officials uh, in our government that have been focused on the DPRK for decades. Um, I would modestly include myself in the, among that group. I do want to underscore that we continue uh, the most resolute focus on these issues, and we are looking at also bringing in new capacity as well. I don't want to get into details about that, but we recognize the importance here. Complex, they are making good progress. I don't think I can give you any specific timeline, although I will say that both countries are approaching these engagements with a degree of urgency, yes. There, and it will happen this year. Um, I think as you probably can recognize, there are lots of challenges right now. Um, uh, I, I think we'll have opportunities for the three leaders to get together. We, we recognize and support us. There are a number of things that we'd like to undertake. There's work to institutionalize the trilateral engagement. There's work to make sure that the program is substantial and diverse. We are also looking to find opportunities to include South Korea in other engagements as well. So for instance, I think you'll be hearing more in the coming days about the Indo-Pacific Indo Four, the grouping that is with us here in Washington. We want to institutionalize that. So I think you're going to see multifaceted efforts to make sure that we recognize and acknowledge the ROK is increasingly important, not just regional role, but global role. Thank you very much.